Today I'm going to be showing you why you should go with PyMel over Maya commands when scripting in Python Maya. I have a uh, accompanying blog post at learncreategame.com slash techart slash PyMel Maya Python that illustrates the coding examples and the difference between the two. PyMel is an object-oriented approach, so it results in code that is much shorter and readable. It's open source and maintained on GitHub. It wraps all the mel commands, so it contains everything that Maya commands has, so you can mix and match between the procedural and object-oriented approach. Maya commands is fully procedural, it's maintained privately by Autodesk, and it also wraps all the mel commands. Yeah, okay, Mr. Talkie Talkie Man, but what does that mean practically for me? Well, let me show you. So if I select the sphere here and I import Maya commands, and I store the selection using Maya commands ls selection equals true, and then we can run the shape, uh, storing the shape using Maya commands list relative, and we're going to act on the selection, and we're going to pass shapes equals true, and then we're going to store the first result. So now we have that string of uh, p sphere shape, and the selection is a string of p sphere. So if we use uh, import PyMel core general, store the selection using PyMel core general dot selected, uh, and then the shape simply is the selection dot get shape because this selection is not just a string. It's a transform node that points to the Maya DAG object. So when you type selection dot, it fills in all the available commands that's related to the transform node. So it has the transformation matrix, translate, uh, translate by, and all this other stuff. So let me show you another example. If I select this joint and I store that as the selection, so now the selection dot, um, well, for instance, we have the root. We can get to the root of this uh, joint hierarchy by just running that. So it has a ton of methods that are related to the object that you are storing. So you become a very, very fast coder compared to when you use Maya commands because you have to sit there and think about the command name. It's, it's not acting on the object. So that's the difference practically. But if you feel really comfortable with the procedural approach and you just want to dabble with object orient oriented, you can do that too. So uh, let's store the sphere here again so we can get the, the, the shape node of this. So instead of running selection.shape, but I promise you one, once you have this available to you on the object, you will go that route because it's much more accessible. But I could do pymel.core.general dot list you see that they're all here list relatives and then we can selection and then shapes equals true so i can do that too and i get the uh, shape which is then a mesh node which has other methods that are relating to the mesh like the dot birds and the dot faces and it's just really really powerful uh i yeah i i'm very much on the pymel side because it it makes you so fast i switched to pymel in 2009 and uh, we have shipped multiple games uh, and all the pipelines and the framework sort of in maya are written with pymel uh, I remember the joy when I switched to it. And please, 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 if you are using my commands and you're giving this a try and you're finding the same joy, please leave a comment. And if you don't, please leave a comment too, because I would love to hear why. All right, uh, please subscribe to the channel if you find this useful and give the video a thumbs up and thank you.